Welcome back, 25 years of doom, I'm Temin. I'm not red anymore. Today, and from now on, I shall be known as Mag. Because All right, um, modern times, I'm, I'm updating. We have 3D graphics now, sorry, go ahead. I'm still aces high. <laughs> oh, well some uh, things never change. Thing. Uh, type M plus M look in the console if you want to aim with your mouse in this game. Wait, <gasps> mouse? What? Oh, Blasphemy. So, yes. This is Quake, the the next game to come out from id Software after their hit success Doom 2. Um, they, John Carmack and his wacky oh, secret message. Also, what, what Nightmare was his wacky secret message? Gosh. Um, <laughs> gosh, I'm all over the place. There's so much up front. Okay, uh, go. <laughs> So much. Well, stuff. first we've got an enemy bio. Yes! Oh. It returns! <laughs> They're back. Oh, it's so. Yes! I love it! Oh my god, that slowdown oh. was. <laughs> my god. You've outdone yourself, good sir. Ah. Oh. Damage uh, potential. It's, it's, I guess we'll get to that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, like the max damage they can do really oh, okay. for some reason the grunts are set at exactly 16 and I guess it varies with distance that yeah because um, they're using shotguns uh. right so this is Quake as uh, we've seen um, uh, by id Software uh, John Carmack wanted a fully 3D realized world that could have any arbitrary shape in 3D and also dogs they're dog <laughs> Doggo! Yeah. Oh, oh this doggo yeah. is not nice. Yeah, he's also not very hard to deal with, which is nice. Well, um, at least he looks happy. Yeah, that's always good. Oh, wow, uh, so this, that's a lot. Wow. Yeah, I didn't know they a, could do yeah. that much damage to you. So they have multiple attacks. I believe it's their jump attack that can do up to 24 points. That makes ah. sense. <laughs> also, we've got explosive boxes. Yes. yes. Wait, boxes? Hold we've on. got... These jibs yeah, we are shoot. so good. Yeah, they're chunky. Uh, we shoot this, we get the uh, iconic, legendary yes! quad damage. The Literally best. quadruples your 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 damage output. I'm just gonna go on a rampage through this level real quick, if you don't mind. No, double damage, go right ahead. double damage, quad That's damage what, is. Oh man. That's what yeah, you gotta great. do. You just gotta go on a on a quad damage rampage. Right. So, Quake uh, went through a like legendary development hell, also mm -hmm. secret, oh, and man. also we get to be an axe murderer. That one took me a while to find. Not gonna lie, yeah, it's it's a bit out there. This uh, you can actually get here from if you jump off the bridge at the start. But uh, yeah, I was kind of coming... surprised. I was kind of surprised because that was how I found it as a kid. Like, and right, that's right. how I've always done it. So, I was quite surprised. <laughs> That you went about well, it that way. I didn't need the health until now is the thing. Um, uh, yep. Yep. <laughs> Nightmare is uh, pretty rough. Speaking of which, it's about to drip down to zero. We can't sit at 200. All right. Uh, gosh. Yeah, there's uh, a lot. I love, I love <laughs> how Quake doesn't have, like, a title screen. It just, like, just drops you right into the 3D world. And, like, the, the skill select... It's not in the menu. You hit new game and you're in the world. Like mm -hmm, they really right. wanted to push this whole 3D thing, and it's mm -hmm. it's great. It's so good. The Quake difficulty select is probably it. It seems a bit underwhelming, but it's probably my favorite map in all video games ever made. Just because also, of what it is. Oh no! Also, you it looks fell really in the cool. slime. Yeah. Luckily, there's another secret. If you take the yeah. secret bio suit and take a swim in the slime. Um, so Quake Development Hell. Um, so after Doom 2, John Carmack wanted to do his new engine. Uh, arbitrary 3D polygons. You can have, you know, you're not limited by 2D space. Mm -hmm. um, you can go anywhere, look in any direction, and the world's there. It's solid. But he had trouble doing that. There were always these, like, uh, blue voids in the world because his algorithm wasn't qu quite right and it didn't draw the world as he uh, needed it to. Uh, so he enlisted the help of, like, graphics guru who literally wrote the, the book on computer graphics, uh, Michael Abrash, uh, and they collaborated on this 3D engine. 
got it, uh, you know, up and running for DOS and mm-hmm. Windows soon thereafter. Um, and uh, in the meantime, while uh, John was developing the engine, the rest of the id guys kind of didn't have like a direction to work with. Like there was no game engine, so they couldn't like build levels or characters or anything yet. Um, John Romero was supposed to lead the project, and he says, "Just do it like we always did. Just you know, wing it, guys. Oh, boy. We're gonna do this." Uh, and like, um, it, yeah. It got like uh, uh, the the artists. Uh, Wait, wizard? Kevin? Sorry. Yeah, I don't know why they're called wizard. It's like mm-hmm. what they're called in the files. Oh. Um, ah. Uh, I can understand yeah. that. Beta quake. Um. But yeah, uh, the the artists Kevin Cloud and Adrian Carmack made a bunch of textures for like uh, Aztec settings, Egyptian settings, medieval settings, mm. and like. Uh, gosh, uh, they they didn't really have any direction because they didn't know what the game was going to be. Because you know, John Ooh. never told them what the game was supposed to be, other than <laughs> uh, like a vague kind of like the description from the Commander Keen we saw forever ago, where you play as Quake and you've got your Hammer of Justice. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, so it was on. meant to. They hmm. were making just a bunch of assets for like different time periods and settings. Yeah, it was like supposed to be like a time traveling adventure too. I think. Ooh, ee. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna remember that for no particular <laughs> reason. Yeah. <laughs> Suddenly I sounds internally... really prescient, but I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Um, I, I think they called it like time quake internally for a short period. Time quake. Wow, that's kind of but a cool like, name, though. Yeah. But yeah, it was oh, meant to be guys. like a melee combat game in like a persistent like open world. Oh, what um, the heck? But okay. Yeah, it never oh. really panned out that way. Um, they were rushing up. They wanted to have it out by Christmas of '95. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Um, okay, a little wow. bit early. Yeah, the uh, engine wasn't ready, and like Christmas '95 came up, and like they're like, we don't have a game. What do we do? And you know, uh, people at it started suggesting, you know, you know, why don't we just do what we know. We make a a first-person shooter deal. Mm-hmm. Call it Doom Three, which you know, Wait, as per Wolfenstein what? being uh, Doom Zero, this is technically Doom Three, according to my arbitrary sense of what Doom Three is. And also, my dad explained to me when he got Quake. I asked him what's this, and he said, "Oh, it's like, it's uh, Doom Three, because you know it's <laughs> okay. basically what it is." Got it. Wolfenstein, Doom Zero, <laughs> then Doom One, Two, and now we're playing Doom Three. Man, it came fast. Yeah. Whoa! Great. Good dodge. Oh, oh, these, boy. These, these guys are jerks. I, I don't hate like these guys. guys. The worst. Well, the second worst. Yeah. I have to say that the nice thing with getting everything out of the way so quickly. I mean, we're just finishing the second level, but. This is pretty much it. Like, we have right. seen most of the monsters yeah, from the definitely. entire game. Yeah. yeah, the enemies will be decidedly front-loaded in this LP. No. Not really. I don't have any problems with that, because they do a good job of, we'll see, uh, introducing enemies, so to speak. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. they yeah. get really aggressive after that, but, you know, they introduce them before it's- they're like, hey, here's a room of a horrible thing that will instantly mm-hmm. murder you. Yep. Right. And then the next so time you I, see them, here's a room full of a horrible thing that will murder you. <laughs> right, right. Um, I wanted yep. to mention... Um, <gasps> you missed a secret! I, I, what? I, uh, I, I don't know where all the secrets are in this oh. game. Also, I love these guys. Probably <laughs> one of my <laughs> favorite enemies in Quake. Yes! Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Timing. Probably one of, my, one of my favorite enemies ever. Mm-hmm. Like, um... So the zombies, you have to give them with an explosive, yes, or else they'll come back. But they're so weak and like satisfying to give. They get a zero stars. I love them. They're just yeah, they're a fun. They're fun target practice, and they're always in groups, like always. Yep. Yeah, it's great. Here, here's the gib machine. I think you can yes. give them uh, without explosives if you have um, quad damage. 
So, yeah. like, so, with the double barrel shotgun, I believe you can do that. Yeah. Which, so by the way, works, we got that real fast. Yeah, that was in a secret in level one. Uh, gibbing works differently than it does in Doom. All the enemies in the game can gib. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it's like, instead of making it so their health is negative what their full health is, also, it's Ooh, boy. Okay. Here's These are the, the closest guy. to the... Yeah, the closest cyber demon equivalent in level uh, three? Yeah. Hey. In level three. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. Maybe more like a Baron of Hell, but more, like, aggressive. Um, it's like a Baron mixed with, like, a uh, an Arachnotron. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, with how much health they have and, like, how much damage they can, like, throw out. Actually, I guess right. they'd be akin to, like, DPS. a spider, DPS, a spider mastermind. Because their they're right, lightning right. is nearly hit skin and they're relatively easy to kill. <laughs> I, I was guess. wondering if you were gonna do that. <laughs> I was yeah, hoping. So I was hoping that you were gonna do that. Yeah. So telefragging works a bit differently in Quake. If anything teleports onto you, they get, you know, they gib. Wait, onto Three. you? Yep. Yeah. What? If Wait, you know, what? if you know what? where they're gonna teleport in or spawn, then you just stand there and, oh, never mind. Oh yeah. man. Nice. So I was. I was gonna say that I, I absolutely love how Nightmare Skill is hidden in the intro map. Yeah. Like, that's such a cool, like, little thing, I think. Right, like, you and, could play this game hundreds of times and just never find it. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, also, I, I should also mention here that I'm only going to play episode one on Nightmare. That's fair. <laughs> I, I went a little further than that. It's hard. Also, mm -hmm. damn. Yep. Uh, if you didn't catch it, go ahead and rewind the video real quick and check out Quick Guy's face uh, while we have the Ring of Invisibility. It's good stuff. <laughs> it's, it is good. Yeah. Um, I can't remember if it's like if that's actually how your model appears when you have the ring on as well. I think so. yeah, it does actually because they have like a separate. Are actually, what? Yeah. Yeah, I never they have like this. a. They have a separate like eyes.mdl file in the game <laughs> thing that goes when you uh, put on the ring of in invisibility. It's, yeah, uh, it's great. That's amazing. I've never like I don't know because oh. um, I never played oh. any multiplayer with Quake, uh, so this was just like secondhand information that I got from relatives. So I don't know right, how right. accurate it is. You know what that means, Temin? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we must test this out. Yeah, that's, uh, that's true. Oh, yeah. There will be a, an abundance of Quake multiplayer in our future, I'm sure. Absolutely. Um, I am psyched. Yeah. Uh, more on that later. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> this game's real neat. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, I, I also never mentioned the full... Well, it's a nine-ish track soundtrack by uh, uh, Nine Inch Nails frontrunner Trent Reznor. Yeah, it's pretty mm -hmm. good. It's oh, yes. pretty dang yeah. good. Also worth mentioning, I've never played Quake with the soundtrack on. Oh, Me really? Either. Including this yeah. recording. Wow. Uh, I, so I remember when we were kids. Um, I mean, I remember when this game just came out right now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we always had issues trying to get the friggin' music to play up the, the CD. It just, like, wouldn't work or it'd only play the first track, like, every level. Right. I, I remember playing Quake with not the Quake CD and just having random stuff playing instead oh, yeah. of the Quake soundtrack. We figured out that it would take yep. any CD. You could just put in your own music and, like, do yeah. that. Which, that's a cool feature. That I think this mm -hmm. is the first game we can do that in. I don't think yeah. this was the first uh, game to use the Redbook audio that way. Um, Probably not. But, yeah, it, it definitely was, like, one in a series. Yeah, um, well, yeah. I should there say were the a whole bunch game. that came out like 96, 97, 98 that were programmed as such. And then from there, the music files just were. Uh, what's the term I'm trying to think of here? They were just like on the CD, and you couldn't actually put it into a CD player and play them as such. They were just regular data. <laughs> right. Yeah, so 
the the game soundtrack actually uh, in, in in as far as the CD format, uh, the game itself is track one, mm -hmm. and then all the music's are the rest of the tracks. Oh wait, yep. what the heck? Yep, yep. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. No, I've seen some yep. weird stuff like that on uh, on a few game consoles actually. <laughs> Which do, do I would that too. I would, I would love to hear somebody play track one from the Quake CD, please. Uh, I, I have I a did. way to do that. <laughs> um, I actually did that um, with this, and um, actually the game that I discovered the whole, hey, what happens when you put this in um, a CD play? Well, actually, it was more um, when I was playing Heroes of Might and Magic 2, and I put it into uh, the CD player, or the CD-ROM, for whatever reason, the auto run didn't actually go. Uh, I think because <laughs> I put it in the burner as opposed to putting it in the the actual like regular optical drive. Great, <laughs> and right. so it was just like, hey, this is an audio CD, so we're just gonna play the soundtrack. And I'm like, what? Oh God. Um, and so that was how I discovered. And so I was like, oh, that was cool. What happens if I go and I put it in my CD player? And I did, <laughs> except the first track was nothing. And I'm like, what? That's weird. Let's uh, yeah. see what happens if I go to the next track. Oh, there's the soundtrack. And so I, I experimented one night, and I believe the track that is the game file lasted like 35 minutes or something of just nice. silence. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I'm going to use my... Uh, with my new name, I have acquired new powers or some shit. I don't know. I'm going to peer into the future and talk about a game console that I don't think exists yet. Well, maybe it does. Uh, I don't think yet. Uh, I discovered that using uh, the Sega Dreamcast as a CD player, as I found out I could play music from some of my uh, game discs as well. And then I don't remember what game it was, but I remember putting in a a game expecting to hear the soundtrack from it and just got a track that was like a thousand hours or a thousand minutes long and I was like <laughs> oh what the heck huh yeah and it was just soundtrack. yeah just silence for 1007 or 1073 minutes it's it's like that uh, classic concert piece 433 but like yep. a million times longer <laughs> Oh man, certainly a oh, good so, way to uh, look at it. Yeah, uh, this uh, this level has a uh, secret exit in it, yeah. which is uh, always a, a oh, fun man. time. Oh man! Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited for the secret level. Yeah, it's it's a good one. Mm -hmm. um, just oh, excuse me for a second. <laughs> I'm just gonna ignore these conspicuous quake cues. I love the quake cue, by the way. It's so just like. I don't know, it's like sharp. It's like one of the most iconic, iconic. yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, iconic yeah. symbols. Oh, oh. oh, I thought you were going to let the ogres uh, infight. Because one so, of them uh, shot each other. <laughs> I don't think that enemies of the bad. same type infight in Quake. Not that I've observed. It's because I, I know. Yeah, I think you're ogres, right. They've... But they are not immune to damage. All, all monsters can damage each other. Yeah, but yeah. Cause, uh, you're right. Yeah, about so, the infighting. Yeah, so for two reasons, uh, the ogres definitely plenty of times where I've had them, you know, they're stacked up in front of each other trying to fire grenades at me, hitting each other with grenades. But also like the knights when they charge at you and they mm -hmm. chop each other to pieces. Yep. <laughs> amusingly enough. <laughs> yep. So. So right. I'm, but I'm that, now going mm -hmm. to hit these switches now that I've found the regular exit and. Uh, summarily ignore it, it, its existence. And definitely avoid the traps. Mm -hmm. Yep. There's one more to go. And yeah. By the way, a lot of traps in Quake. I very much yeah, enjoy the great. addition. Like, yeah, it's, it feels very like D and T S. Yeah. Well, it well, just goes with that. Uh, with the Gothic aesthetic, right? Right, right. I mean, well, and think about, too, like, the their original intention with the game. Like, they were kind of going for an open-world melee combat thing, so... And, you know, we we know the guys at id 
liked to play D and D, so mm-hmm. right, it makes right. sense that they could. Oh man, here we go! Here we go! Here we go! Yeah, All right. low we're gravity. In, we're in the ziggurat. Ziggurat vertigo. Um, oh, and we picked the up the uh, pentagram of protection. Yeah, a classic uh, secret level. Yeah, it's, uh, the pentagram is basically so you can get the quad damage if you know yep. about it. Also, check out the HUD. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Oh, I've, yeah. I've got a very <laughs> cursed amount of armor. <laughs> and we have the rocket launcher. Yeah, and now I can just bound around, <laughs> just like blast myself off of walls. Except not anymore, because that's a really bad idea with yeah. quad damage. And now our armor's up, so. Ooh. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And we so, have no armor left. Yeah, it's uh, awkward. Well. Probably best not to. Don't mess with it too much. Also, be very careful <laughs> jumping down from there. I fell into the lava more than once on this level <laughs> because of that the lack of air control. And it is uh, hard to get out of because oh, of the God. way the yeah. physics work with um, uh, with liquids. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, and now because Q-test, the gravity has been we... messed with. Right. In, in Q test, you weren't even able to jump out of the water, so it's better than that at least. Yeah, you had really? to walk. You had to walk out. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! There you nice. go. Nice. You, you, <laughs> just you keep climb myself back out. in the air. Explosive <laughs> yeah. jetpack. That's okay. You know, you're you're invin- you're invulnerable right now. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. <laughs> So um, now we can see what his eyes look like when with just the invulnerability, with just the pentagram. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I forgot to mention. Yeah, the the crazed. I've had too many uh, caffeine pills. Look is from the quad damage. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then we've I've got been the up more on the demonic too look long. for the pentagram. Mm-hmm. Um. Gosh. So. Uh, oh, by the way, super nail gun. Yeah. Yeah, super nail gun's great. It's it's like the 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 shambler destroyer. Yeah. Until you get a better weapon that doesn't have very much ammo later. It's but it's very much like yeah. a uh, an automatic. Uh, it's like a, a a chain gun version of the super shotgun because it takes, I believe, two nails to fire it. Yeah. yeah one super nail is two nails. Yep. mm Hmm. But it does so much damage, it's worth it. It's so much. It's it's ridiculous, yeah. frankly. <laughs> it's yep. great. Um, yeah, so more about the development of this game. Um, uh, John Romero was slacking a lot, uh, off a lot, playing a lot of Dwango Deathmatch and letting the fame from Doom 2 go to his head. <laughs> Look, I can't uh, blame unfortunately, him. Dwango's good. Which, yeah, which is... <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, why uh, Quake didn't get to be what he wanted it to be. Um, Look, but considering what we got, I'm not mad. <laughs> yeah, fair. Mm, no. um, Nothing wrong with that. Rocket jump up here to get up uh, early. It's always nice. Oh, I hadn't nice. even thought about that. Nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, John Carmack was fed up of uh, Romero not, uh, you know, not being at the office doing stuff so he, he, he started like tracking employee hours by installing like a program on all the computers that tracked their time which is kind of oh kinda... no yeah. oh no that's how it all began huh oh dear yeah. oh god and um no john yeah. what did you do <laughs> and which also one? to keep track of the employees <laughs> uh they they uh, uh, Carmack had it take out all the offices and just merge them into one great room, which they referred to as the War Room. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> That's a good name, yeah, so but was, wow, three health. Yeah, it's... Yep. It's, You're it's, taking it's a rough. beaten. It's rough for an id employee and also quick guy. <laughs> <laughs> to, be, to have free health <laughs> or to go to the war room. Oh, boy. Okay. Oof. So back to the That's story. That's okay. Kill the knight. Kill the knight with it. <laughs> yeah, John Romero, kill the knight. No, wait. Hold on. I'm confused again. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So he moved everything uh, into the mega office they called the war room. Yeah. Uh, and, like, uh, I believe this is, like, close to the release date, like maybe a few months out, so 
they all did like super hell crunch time to mm-hmm. get the game done as like a doom esque shooter as quick as they could. Oh boy, they well, did a good job. Uh, which, yeah. Uh, by the way, I believe episode one is entirely by Tim Willits. Uh, the whole thing. I think so. I, I think don't each, remember. A map maker th- did like an entire episode by themselves. I guess they'd have uh, to to I get remember. everything done. And like also uh, in the beginning when we were in the difficulty and chapter select area, like we got a blurb of text explaining what the realm we were going into was like. So I guess mm-hmm. everyone as their homework project got to design their own set of levels and their own theme, I guess, yeah, for it. Mm-hmm. So exactly. That would make sense. Um, yeah, and the uh, level designers, I believe, were Tim Willits, uh, American McGee, John Romero, and Sandy Peterson for this game. Yeah. So, and uh, the game opens with a Tim Willits episode. Yeah. <sighs> I actually really enjoy episode one. It is. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's classic. It's Much like a uh, Doom best episode foot forward. One. Yep. Because mm-hmm. this was the shareware oh. episode. Yeah. Right. Oh, oh man. man. This, Speaking oh, of shareware. God. Wait, do you get so, the secret here? Oh no. You didn't. Uh, Maybe you go back for it? Sorry. I, I don't know all the secrets oh, in Quake, God. unfortunately. It's a really shitty secret. So, in that room, that torch. It's like mm-hmm. a Mario block. You have to jump to activate it. Uh, what? Yeah, uh. I know. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's one of the... Oh, God. It, you have no idea. I, just, you, he, I touched and shot every wall. I just ran around with the axe forever and started jumping. And then, like, I went into that room and started just maiming that torch. And I jumped. And it moved. And I was like, wait. Wait. No. <laughs> no. It's not no. how the secrets work. <laughs> And yeah, I'm I don't. Sorry to hear I don't that. remember what's in it. I I think it's a good secret though. I'm pretty sure it has a mega health. <clears throat> oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, this room is here. This 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 is an obvious secret, thankfully. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Which I guess you can have diagonal texturing in this game. So great. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Quake does so many good um, things. Did you? Oh, there's so yep. much. So much innovation yeah. in this. <laughs> oh so, man, that was that was actually really cool to watch. Mm-hmm. Oh man. Yeah. Um, oh man, this is I love this level. The the doorway to Cthulhu. Oh, this one's mm-hmm. tough. I the, on my nightmare run, this is where I really started dying. Yeah, it has a really unfair trap at the end, uh, especially yeah. on nightmare. Um. But yeah. Uh, one thing I wanted to bring up is a feature that uh, was mentioned in Masters of Doom uh, that John Romero wanted to add. I think you can rocket jump up there, but in my previous attempts, I couldn't quite make it. It's not worth it. You can get up there later. <laughs> oh, yeah. So this room sucks. Yeah. Um, yeah. We can't all be winners. But, yeah, uh, Time Quake was uh, supposed to have uh, this artifact called the Hellgate Cube that had its, like, own, like, Chow-esque A-Life system. What?! Yeah, like, it would have different behavior based on, like, how many enemies you kill and feed blood from to the cube, and, like, if you don't feed it, it attacks you, and if you don't feed it for long enough, it goes away, and, like, a whole bunch of stuff that just for this one little thing that would follow you, or follow you around. Oh, good, but, I was gonna you know, say, did you go behind here? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thankfully. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's where you're supposed to get to that secret behind me, but I mm-hmm. didn't think to do that, unfortunately. Yeah, it is. Okay, so... Yeah. Down there so is only you death, can... by the way. Don't fall in that hole. Yeah, there's spikes. Uh, let's oh, check yeah. them out. <laughs> <laughs> Nail- <yeah. laughs> uh, so... You can easily just like skip the blue key alt or silver key altogether by jumping across that mm-hmm. in the dark if you know how. Yeah. Yep. Or if like I guess you have a monitor that displays it bright enough, you oh, can man. just see the path. Yep. Speedrun strats. Wow. Yeah. So, oh by the way, we'll see quick. that with one of the other keys. I guess I should mention it cuz we're using the grenade launcher and the rocket launcher a lot, but we're also using them interchangeably. 
So I believe mm. the difference between the two is that the grenade launcher has slightly more damage on impact with the grenades, but, you know, obviously more unwieldy, while the rocket launcher has uh, fast projectiles with way more, uh, way uh, larger splash damage radius. Right, right. Mm -hmm. so. And a lot easier to rocket jump with. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> which not trade a oh, grenade man. jump. It's hard. Rocket jumping's a thing. Oh, yeah. I know we've said it. We've been talking about it, but it's like a thing. You hit Indeed. space, you hit the fire <laughs> button, and you go, you jump really high, and it's great. Well, so uh, I believe... First appeared in, oh, uh... God. It Such first appeared a... in... Oh. Yeah, that's a mean trap. Uh, rocket gotcha. jumping made a... Yeah. Made its first appearance in uh, Rise of the Triad by Apogee, Tom Hall, the developers of Incredible Power. You had what to rocket it? jump to beat El Oscuro's eggs. Oh, I didn't know that that was where it first came from. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so, real quick. And also, technically in Doom, because that's the intended solution to get into uh, E3M9, but you can do it vertically in this game. Yeah. So, ah, I don't right. remember uh, where the secret is, because we missed it, but to deal with that, um, uh, deal with the Yeti, I believe that's what we just call them. Um, <laughs> yeah, fair. <laughs> Uh, the there's actually a quad damage in the level, I believe. So if you get the secret right before you get that gold key, you can run down, grab the gold key, turn around, and deal with it, no problem. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, uh, yeah I never found that. I found it after oh, that, I killed that, it, so... That, yeah, that must be the secret I never went to that was behind the thing yep. you teleport to. All right, yeah. so Kthon, uh pretty so unusual has... boss for... Yeah, he's got unfathomable health, but he's very uh, not resistant to electricity. It turns out <laughs> which I guess magma this must be like a magma of, or magma pool of copper or something, because it's very conductive. Well, you see, magma is the earth, and the earth is ground for the electricity. Oh, that makes mm. sense. Mm. So we yeah. just step on all these buttons and dodge the random projectile <laughs> fireballs, yeah. which are basically rockets. Oh, God. That, that's why he, his rank is whatever I gave him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he I is hope it was sufficiently hard. Enough. I died like five or six times on this. Hard. Yeah. Yeah. But oh, you, can't, right. you can't actually, like, defeat him using just conventional weaponry. You have to do this we way. have to telefrag him. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Which is I'll, I also did. like. Yeah, I like how he turns into twenty-one shambler gibbed corpses. Oh, they're mm -hmm. shambler gibbs. I didn't notice. Yeah. Oh man. All right. We finished episode got, one. Yeah. The requisite text scroll, I suppose. It's, I feel like it's a lot slower than Doom's. Our, our whole thing is to get the four runes of power to defeat the, the evil codename Quake. Also, right. we are John Quake. <laughs> oh, yeah. Not related. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Reminds me of uh, reading the, the blurb in the, in the manual where it explains where you came from. Oh, and God, when yeah. you go through the slip gate, it's just like you grab your trusty axe and shotgun, and I'm sitting there going, <laughs> oh, so that's why you have an axe, huh? You just were carrying now, that around with you, were you? So I guess we yep. should gloss over that real quick. I guess the story is that the slip gates were a secret military experiment that went wrong. I mean, you know, that's... Mm, <laughs> of course. That's par for the course for id stories, yep. I think. Messing with teleporters, <laughs> yeah. everything goes wrong. Um... And yeah, we step into the slip gate because we got to close it from the inside or whatever, stop the monsters yep. from coming out. But we're like a veteran in the military. Why do we have a trusty axe? The shotgun, <laughs> sure. <we> need but... <laughs> it's from our days as a firefighter. Of, <laughs> <laughs> of course. All right, sure. Silly me. Our pre-bloodied fire axe from our days of firefighting. <laughs> you don't understand how much those fires bleed, man. <laughs> That's not what I was thinking about extinguishing the fires, but okay. <laughs> yeah, this is, his lava rocks just kind of go randomly. Yeah. Wow, you died Speed less than I did. Speedrunners are good. They, 
the, the, the speedrunners like hop across his head to both switches. I don't know how to do that. Oh my god, you could whoa, oh, oh god, Quake. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh. Dang it, Quake. I'll, oh. I'm going to have to try that now. All right. Oh, so man. next time, we might explain more about Quake, but there's a lot. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, so I, much. It's, it's classic. I love Quake. I'm mm. so glad we're here. Me too. I'm, Me oh, too. Man. <laughs> uh, it's it's like a brush of fresh air after not being able yeah. to breathe for a, about four years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's like literally the first new id developed title in like more a uh, hundred or more videos yeah oh, oh. man well more oh. quick next time yeah all right looking forward to it the end see you next time <laughs> see ya <laughs>